Today we're going to continue our discussion on graphing and we're going to throw in one new concept. We're going to throw in the concept of parallel lines. So to do that, let's first investigate this a little bit. I want us to graph both of these equations on this coordinate plane and then in number two graph these two equations on this coordinate plane. I'll do part one with you. This first equation is going to start or begin at 0, 3 because I'm adding 3 and it's going to move 1 over 4. Positive 1 means up 1. Positive 4 means right 4. Up 1, right 4. Up 1, right 4. No more room. So it's the also the opposite. I could have gone down 1, left 4. Down 1, left 4. Take my straight edge out do my best to draw a perfectly straight line through all of those points. The second one is going to start or begin at negative 4 since that's my constant. Negative 5 over 2 as a slope means go down 5, right 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, no more room, so I could do the opposite, up 5, left 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, and then there's not enough room so I can take out my straight edge and graph the best possible line. So I have two graphs or two lines graphed on the same coordinate plane. Go ahead and do the same thing for number two. Remember, if I'm not adding or subtracting anything here, I'm starting at 0, 0. So go ahead and plot 0, 0. And then also remember, if my slope is negative 3, that's the same as negative 3 over 1, or 3 over negative 1. So that's down 3, right 1. Or up three left one get my straight edge out and graph my line the second one will be at zero four down three right one down three right one down three right one or up three left one and take out the straight edge so let's answer the following questions about the two graphs what are the slopes of the two lines in graph number one or in problem number one well my first line the blue line had a slope of one-fourth. My second line, my red line, the slope was negative five over two. What appears to be true about the lines? We're going to answer that in just a second. In number two, the slope of the line in blue was negative three, and the slope of the line in red was negative three. The main connection I want to see you guys make is that these two lines intersect. They have a spot right here where they cross. The two lines in number two do not. So in number one, these lines intersect. In number two, they do not. That's an important concept here. Because my lines do not intersect, that's what we call parallel. It's two lines that will run forever and ever and ever in the same direction, but never intersect. Those are parallel lines. Think of railroad tracks. Railroad tracks are parallel to each other because they go for an extended distance there and never intersect. What's important to recognize here is also our answers to A and B there. Here my lines intersect, they have different slopes. 
here my lines have the same slope and they're parallel. That's not an accident. That's an actual definition. If the slopes of two lines are the exact same, then the lines are parallel. The symbol we use for parallel is kind of like railroad tracks slanted a little bit. We use that as our symbol. Those are parallel lines. Their slopes have to be identical though. 3 and negative 3 is different. One's positive, one's negative. That's not parallel. The only way they're parallel is if they are both positive or both negative and they're the both the exact same number. Okay, go ahead and move on to video 2 to start looking at some examples of parallel lines.